All right, guys, uh, 9.2, last last video for the week. Um, so we're gonna focus on kind of like the last example that we did um, in the previous uh, lesson. We're gonna try and solve some of these quadratics by graphing, okay? So we're gonna try and estimate the number of solutions that they have, and we're gonna try and graph them. Um, so let's take a look at the vocab here, the word root. Um, it says wherever the function crosses the x-axis. So um, and note it says a quadratic can have two unique um, roots, one unique root or none. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, if you look here at these examples, it says um, you can solve quadratics by graphing the solution or solutions to a quadratic equation is wherever it crosses the x-axis. So for this first one, we have two unique real solutions. There is a solution here and a solution here. So there are two solutions. With every, well, I shouldn't say with every, but with a lot of parabolas and quadratics, you're gonna have um, two solutions. But if you look in this case, in this one, the quadratic comes down and it just barely touches the x-axis and starts going back up. In this case, we only have one solution or one unique real solution. And the last one, you notice here, um, does it ever cross the x-axis? Uh, no, it doesn't. It just keeps going up and the, the minimum's right here. Um, so in this case, we would say no real solutions. So I'll just put no solutions. Um, so keep that in mind as we go forward. Okay, so it says to solve x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0 by graphing. So we want to try and find a value of x where when we plug this in, we get 0. Um, so first off, let's start off by um, doing what we did in the last video, and that's finding the axis of symmetry. So again, this is A, this is B, and this is C. So let's plug in B. We get, we've got, we got, a, we got a, this negative, and then I've got negative 2 right here, all over 2A, and A in this case is 1. So this is gonna turn into two times one is two, and then divided by two, we just get a negative one. So negative one, oh, excuse me, positive one. Don't forget, negative and a negative make a positive. So we get positive one. Um, so this is gonna be our axis of symmetry. So we know, we know that our parabola is gonna follow this. It's gonna, this is the line, this is the axis of symmetry. Um, so let's point, let's pick some points around that and see if we can't plot this thing. So I'm going to put one right here in the middle and then let's try two, three, zero, and negative one. Um, and let's just start plugging these values in and see what we get. Um, if I plug in negative one, I'll get negative one squared minus two, negative one minus eight. Let's see what we get. Um, I get one here, uh, that negative and negative make a positive, so you get plus two, minus eight, and you get negative five, negative five. So I'll put negative five here. Let's try zero. I always like zero, zero is easy. Minus eight, so we get zero, minus zero, minus eight, which is negative eight. So I'll plug in negative eight here. Let's plug in our axis of symmetry at one. Uh, I get one squared minus two, one minus eight, one minus two minus eight. Uh, and we get negative nine. So I'll plug in negative nine here. Um, and if you remember from last time, these, va these values right here are gonna be the same right here. But just to show you, so I already know that this is gonna be negative eight and negative five, just because the parabola goes up one way and comes back the other way, right? But just to double check, let's plug in two, minus two, minus eight. So we get four minus four minus eight, which turns out to be negative eight. And then let's do three. So I have three squared minus two, plug in three, minus eight, you get nine, minus six, minus eight. And then 
what we end up getting when we reduce this is negative five. So we got negative five, perfect. All right, um, let's go ahead and graph this and see what we get. All right, negative one, five, it's gonna be here. Oh, sorry, uh, negative one, negative five, that's gonna be down here. Uh, zero, negative eight. Two, negative, uh, one, negative nine. Two, negative eight. And three, negative five. And if you see, if I connect these right now, this is all I get so far. Make sure it's a U. This is all I get so far. I have a problem though. It's not crossing the x-axis. So I know it should keep going this way. So let's try a couple other points. Let's try negative two and let's try four. And I know that four and negative two are gonna give me the same point. So I don't really only, only really have to do one. So let's do four. So this will be squared minus two, four. I get 16 minus eight minus eight, which is gonna be zero, which is perfect. So that's zero. So I know that negative two is gonna give me zero. So then if we come back over here and we graph it, negative two, zero is gonna be here and four, zero is gonna be here. And ha ha, what do you know? I have my two solutions. So this is, this is gonna keep going off in this direction. This is gonna go off in this direction. And m make sure they don't look like, shouldn't look like pincers, okay? It should be a U shape. So this should go out more. I wonder if I can fix that. There we go, looks a little better. Um, okay, so these right here, these are our solutions. This solves this x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And what are the values of x? Well, x is negative 2 and x is 4. So how many solutions do we have? We have two. We have two unique real solutions. And that's how you do that. Um, we'll pause it here and we'll do the rest on the back.